What is up, Coratics? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles. I never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. Again, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want me to customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Invitero Coquette Classic, the second Coquette model that we ever received in GTA. Now this car came out with the San Andreas Flight School update in August of 2014, over seven years ago, so it's definitely been a while since then. And for those of you who don't know, Rockstar actually went back and added liveries for this car in 2018 with the After Hours update, so it does have some liveries to spice it up. But anyways, this car can be found on the Legendary Motorsport website for $665,000, which is pretty expensive, but not too bad for a sports classics car in GTA. Now, we currently have four different variants of the Coquette in-game. We have the OG Coquette from 2013 based on the Corvette C7. The Coquette Classic we're customizing in this video, which is mainly based on the Corvette C2. The Coquette Blackfin we received in 2015, which is mainly based on the Corvette C1. And lastly, the Coquette D10, which we received in the 2020 uh, summer update, which is mainly based on the Corvette C8. So four generations of Corvette inspired cars, we literally have half of them so far. We're just missing C3 through C6 generations. So they went C1, C2, then skipped C3 through C6, then went C7 and C8, <laughs> kind of crazy. But honestly, I'm surprised we even have four different variants of Corvette inspired cars in the game. But anyways, in terms of performance, the Coca Classic is around the pace of the Monroe and the JB700 for track performance, which is pretty average in terms of performance for that class. However, in terms of straight line speed, it's definitely above average and around the pace of the Infernus Classic, which is pretty impressive. The Coca Classic mainly suffers in terms of handling and traction, but honestly that's what makes it fun to drive around in in free mode anyways, so it's still a great car, but again, it's not really a track race car like the Turismo Classic and stuff like that. But anyways, in terms of what the Coquette Classic is based on, as I talked about earlier, it's primarily based on the second generation Corvette, the C2 Stingray, which was produced from 1963 to 1967. Now the coupe version of the Coca Classic does have the split rear window, which is inspired by the 1963 C2, which was the only year of the split window for the coupe version. Then in 1964, they changed the design to a full rear window due to visibility complaints from customers. So, <laughs> legendary design wasn't really practical, but now that's arguably the most desirable Corvette ever made, the 63 split window. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Coquette Classic. Alright, Coquette Classic. Alright, we got armor, brakes, bumpers, we have a custom splitter, a secondary colored bumper, okay, so the stock one's chrome, this will be secondary color, and you can do primary, then you can delete the front bumper, guard, okay, second color bumper and splitter, second color, is that, oh, okay, secondary, they just shortened it because it was a long, okay, name, okay, uh, primary color bumper and splitter, and then bumper delete and splitter. So all personal preferences to what you want to do. Um, I personally like the chrome uh, bumpers because you know there's other chrome details on the car like the mirrors and door handles and all that stuff. So I still want to keep that. So we're gonna do the uh, custom splitter. I think it makes it look a bit nicer. So we're gonna do that. Rear bumpers. You can do secondary color rear. A primary or just delete it um, again I like the chrome to take the front so we're gonna keep that going uh, engine maxed out exhaust so you have let me grab it here to get rid of the smoke so you have the chrome tip then you have the race exhaust then you have the titanium quad and then of course you have the site exit exhaust which I absolutely love on the Corvette C2s that was an option in 1965 so the third year of the uh, Corvette so very, very cool. Absolutely love that. So we're going to throw that on there. Now, unfortunately, it does leave the like whole area 
or the rear exhaust, it doesn't smooth it out, which I feel like that's an, a big oversight from Rockstar, but again, this is a 2014 car, so you can kind of expect that, unfortunately. Um, so it's just something you have to live with if you really want the side exhaust, which I do. So we're going to do that. Hood, secondary, you can do secondary hood, and then you have carbon. So up to you, we're going to leave the primary. Continuing here, lights, we're going to leave the stock yellow lights. Liveries, all right. So these are the ones they added with the After Hours update in 2018. So this car used to have no liveries, and then they went back and added liveries to this along with some other cars. Um, so you have a dual white stripes, nice, and a black version of that, then you have the wide white stripe, and then you have the wide black stripe. Now the wide stripe, if you mainly focus on the hood, is pretty similar to the 427 decal, uh, like the black decal on the hood from real life from 67, so pretty similar there, uh, but and then obviously in GTA you have the rest of the stripe going on the roof and all that stuff, but um, I, th I still think it's pretty cool how that kind of section there just looks good in that color. Um, then, you, of course, you have the American-made, <laughs> American flag crazy livery going on here. All right. You have the red flames. Then you have the blue flames. Then you have the shark bite. Pretty sick. Then you have the retro race car. Oh, sorry. Retro racer, not race car. <laughs> Um, now this one's inspired by the uh, Corvette uh, C2 Grand Sport, so that's pretty cool. Nice little detail there, I love that. Uh, Two-tone racer, very nice as well, and that's the last one. So I am going to go with like the wide stripe, kind of similar to the 427, so we're going to do this one. Uh, plate, I already got my Corvette plate on there, let's just give it a black background. Respray, so for this, I mean, this car, it just... There's only two colors I like the Corvette C2 in. It's red, and the other one is blue. That's it. <laughs> I don't like it in any other color. Maybe silver if it's a split window, but that's pushing it. Any other normal C2, red or blue is just my color. So um, we're going to do the Torino red. Just metallic Torino red. Um, maybe we should tone down the pearl bits. Let me see here. Maybe like a silver pearl. That's a little bit too much. All right. <laughs> We'll do like, a, I want a little bit, but not too much. I think we'll do, maybe just a graphite pro. Very, very subtle. Secondary is front splitter. And then, of course, any secondary color options you chose. And then it's also the interior stitching. So that's pretty cool. Uh, now, I do want a little bit of contrast. I feel like the red down there, I mean, looks a little strange. I think it looks a little better in black. So if we go here to the black I probably should have gone the other way there we go <laughs> we're going to the black I think it looks pretty good it gives it like a nice little contrast so we're gonna do that it'll be a matte black how does that look that looks pretty good it makes it look kind of like a, like a plastic one or something Look, makes it look a little more original that's pretty nice you know we'll do the matte black that looks pretty good all right crumbling goes on the side of the door nice roll cage you have the roll cage upgrade here. Okay. And the most important one, this is the biggest change, and it's only a $700 option. <laughs> here is the topless Coquette Classic. So it's literally just a roof option. Um, I think when this car originally came out, you had to buy one or the other, and then they threw in this roof option later on. I can't remember, um, but I think that's what happened. Um, but now, you know, you can buy either one and then just change it whenever you want. And it, it's a completely different look. I mean, it's way, way different. Um, so the main thing you notice, for uh, the coupe has like a trunk area. And then uh, the no roof option smooths that out with paint. Um, and then it gives you roll bars above the seats. So you can see Stocker doesn't have that. Boom, now it's got roll bars. Very, very cool. Um, and if you're wondering, yes, when you do the roll cage, it will change it there. So there you go. <laughs> Um, I want to do the uh, the roof. I just I love the split window. I think it just looks incredible, and the lines and everything back here looks so good. But honestly, they're both very very nice. I feel like if if you're a Corvette fanatic, you definitely need two of these. You need a coupe and the topless because they're both very unique and good looking. All right. You uh, let's go back to the Technology roof. Transmission, turbo, wheels. 
So for this, I'm gonna go for like the knockoff style wheels off uh, like the 67 427, which is my favorite with the side exhaust pipes and all that. Um, so we're gonna go here to the lowrider category, and then we're gonna go to uh, the flares. These actually are pretty similar to like the non knockoff wheels. Um, and then you have the uh, big worm, which is probably the closest you can get to the knockoff wheels from a C2. So we're gonna do that. Love it. We're gonna leave the alloy in the middle. Windows. Um, hmm. We'll do a light tint because I don't want to tint it too much because then it makes the back glass look weird. I don't know, it just doesn't look right. We'll do a light smoke just a little bit. All right, I saw all the options there. Let's take this thing for a drive. Exit to ground. Looks so good. All right, see how it sounds. Sounds all right. Kind of, sounds kind of similar to like the Dominator and some other muscle cars as well. Interior-wise, the same generic interior for most muscle cars. Again, you got to remember, 2014, it wasn't until I think 2016-ish where they started doing, you know, new crazy interiors and stuff like that. Uh, but, you know, this is, again, a car from old gen, so we got to keep that in mind. All right, rev it up here. Let's go for it. Going, going, going. Not bad. It moves pretty well. You know, it's not a slow car by any means. It's 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 still a very quick car. Um, the handling, of course, as we talked about earlier, is not too great. So you got to be very cautious in the corners. For example, let me push it here a little on purpose. You can see a little understeer, um, and then if you push it too much, you get oversteer, like this, for example. <laughs> so you got to be very, very careful. Uh, it's not an easy car to drive, but that's what makes it fun. I think, you know, this is a nice experience. It's not a grippy monster, and it's not uncontrollable either. It, it's still a car that's very predictable to drive, which I really do like. Um, it sounds sounds pretty decent. It it's got a good top speed for the most part, considering what it is. Um, and again, fun driving experience, great looks and design. Um, overall, not bad, especially from 2014. And the fact that Rockstar went back and added liveries to it makes it, you know, a bit more special on top of that and makes it a little more lively. But let's go ahead and pull over here, open all the doors and stuff. really does look good with the side exhaust pipes and those wheels <laughs> all right vehicles all right vehicle doors all that's weird the hood oh my it just whoa okay well that's how you can tell this is 2014 the hood it doesn't open nice and slow up it just teleports up that's <laughs> okay just glitches upwards all right that's strange okay do this here. Not bad. Looks like a gated manual there. Kind of funny. And the rear, of course, nothing opens back here. And I did test the topless version. It has like a cutout for a trunk back here, but that does not open um, even through the interaction menu. So it doesn't matter which version of this car you have, the coupe or the, the uh, topless, they both don't have a trunk that opens. <laughs> but yeah, overall, you know, I think it's a pretty decent and fun car for the money. 665 is a bit high. I think the Turismo Classic is 700 and something, and that's one of the top vehicles in the Sports Classics class, and it's based on a Ferrari F40. So, you know, this is still a Corvette at the end of the day. Um, I definitely try to get this on sale. I think the regular price is slightly high. I'd say the most I'd pay for this car around 300 or 400 thousand. I think that's pretty good. But the liveries that they added back do add a little bit of value. I'd say 400 is a good. A price for this car so if you want to get one i definitely try to get it on sale but anyways guys hope you enjoyed remember to let me know down below in the comments what car from late 2015 or do you want me to customize next thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one